the venerable grounds of Fenway Park in Boston, Massachusetts. The show has an AL East matchup. It's the Toronto Blue Jays and the Boston Red Sox. First and pitch now, coming at you right after the break. 2022 Boston Red Sox. About to get started here. And today's starter, number 52. It's a tough veteran lineup on the other side, but I'm excited to see what this rookie can do in this one. So just about set. And now for the Jays, Tony Fernandez. Leading off tonight for Toronto, the shortstop, number one. And here it comes. Swing and a miss. And that's how this game gets started. First pick, 7 10. And a pitch. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. Towards first. He takes it on his own. One out in the top of the first. Let's take a look at the lineup for the, the Blue Jays. Baseman. Manny Lee. So up next for Toronto, Manny Lee. He's not the power guy, but he can hurt you to all parts of the ballpark. In there for strike one. Goodness, I think he just took the best pitch he's going to see in this at bat. You don't get many like that in that location. I don't know if you take that pitch against any pitcher out there in the mound. Next one misses, and it's one and one. No score just getting started, top of the first. Next offering is in for a strike. One ball, two strikes, okay. The pitch. Swing and a miss and a change up in the dirt. Gets two it on to first. And there's two gone following the strikeout. Batting third. The left fielder. Joy Bell. Two outs, base is empty. And next for Toronto, George Bell. Turned on, but that's foul down the third baseline. And that one sliced foul. Well, he got challenged with a good fastball right there. Just couldn't catch up. Two outs. Going to count one and two. One and two. And he deals. Swing and a pop off in foul ground. Well, he's having a tough time getting a pitch by him. As a hitter, you feel pretty confident that you're seeing different pitches still able to make some type of contact. Kicks and fires. That one in the dirt. Now two and two. 
Well, this is a guy that can be frustrating for pitchers because he fouls off so many pitches and grinds out the at bat. I'm sure there's some times where a pitcher would rather just give up a first pitch single than have to waste six or seven pitches on one hitter. The throw into second. Here's the tag. They get him. And that's the inning. Toronto nothing. Sox come to bat. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Back here in Boston on the hill and coming off a great start number 46. What do we need to know here. Try to stay back for that power changeup. speed differential between the fastball and the changeup is huge hitters. They have a hard time staying back. Back here at Fenway and now the veteran third baseman Wade Boggs leading a line in the pit for the Red Sox. That third one's baseman. in there. Four Wade Boggs. Hit on the ground to the right side. Has some trouble with it. Tosses to the pitcher covering the bag. One gone bottom half of the first. Back Here's a check second. of the Red Sox lineup. Put together by manager Joey. Alex Cora. Reed. <laughs> Jody Reed up next for the Red Sox. That one fouled off. One down, base is empty. That's a ball. And it is two and one. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. Two and one now. Good eye in that spot. Guy like this can be tough. You know he's not going to try to beat you with velocity, but he's going to sink it. He's going to change speeds, and he's going to pitch backwards at times. Three one is on the way. Line drive, and that's a base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. Well, his hot hitting continues. He's been getting hurt. great results. No left nice field. line drive to the double Number side. Net it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. One down. Number 39 up next for the Red Sox. And that's in there for strike one. Reed at first, one gone. The next pitch misses, and it's a ball and a strike. Left hand batter waits. And now two balls and a strike. Here comes a pitch. In the air, fairly deep to right field. And there's two away. Batting four, the right fielder, Dwight. And at first, Evans. and next will be the cleanup hitter, Dwight Evans. In there, and it's all in one. Man, I mean, nice job just presenting it to be better than it actually was. No one out front rip foul. In the dirt blocked. No movement. Now a ball and two strikes.
swing and a miss struck him out and that is that one left for the Red Sox scoreless after one. Back now at Fenway. Second inning set to go. And now the first baseman, number 19. DJ, the first baseman, number 19. The wide to kick the pitch. And there's the strike. Looks like he's just sizing him up there. Really good pitch to hit, but he took it all the way. Sometimes guys just want to set their timing. Later on in the game, that may be a pitch that he turns on. Next offering is in for a strike. I understand you want to try to gauge that guy's fastball, but you also have to be aggressive and ready to hit in your zone. Now you're in a tough spot. Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Just blown away in that at bat. Three fastballs, all strikes. The third base. Wasn't even able to foul one Benny off. There's not much you can Capra. take away from an at bat like that as a hitter, other than maybe there's something wrong with your eyes. Got to have better timing on the fastball next time. And now for the Jays, Vinny Capra. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. No score here in the second. The 0 1 is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. Looks like he's still trying to find a consistent release point in that curveball. That one just sort of popped out of his hand. No real command and finish to it. It's going to be real important for him to finish that pitch, throw it down in the zone where he wants to, if it's going to be effective for him throughout this game. the righty deals just off the inside edge well he might have to look for a different put away pitch right here too too he's already seen the curveball a couple of times in this at bat so might have it timed up and ready for it line to left and it goes just foul Second inning here, no score. Next pitch is outside. Really good take, especially with two strikes. And he walked him. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the wall. Very gritty. The designated hitter. Man at first Nathan. with one gone. And now to the plate. Here's the Toronto DH. Nathan Lucas. Kind of a throwback. No batting gloves. Runner, Runner on the go. Yeah. Strike in there. Throw to second. Ow. Ow. Such a quick and fast swing of emotions right there. You get the runner on with the walk, which is great. But then picks a bad pitch to go on. And you just erase the free pass that you were issued. I understand you want to be aggressive. You want to try to get in the scoring position, but you just have to be a little smarter there. Line drive, base hit. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. And that's a double. Nice double right there. Loud contact coming off the bat. Exactly. Didn't get enough air under right to drive it out of here, but you'll take that swing and that result every time. Here's the rookie right fielder, number 28. Well, they're looking to get on the board first here after that clutch two-out double made this inning interesting. Next offering upstairs. Luke's at second with two down. Yeah. 
Swing and a miss. Now one and two. And the pitch. Bounce to the right. Barrett picks it up. Whips it to first. That's out number three. Blue Jays held in check. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Back inside Fenway Park. We head to the bottom of the second. Joe stepping in Leading for off. Boston. Ellis Red Burks. The center fielder. Ellis Burks. And the pitch. There's the strike. And ball one. Eric Summersgill, our plate umpire. One thing to watch out for, Berg, is what side of the plate Summersgill might be favoring. He usually sets up at an angle. Pitchers sometimes will try to figure that out early so they can attack that spot and get as many strike calls as possible. Calls it that in, exists. and there's one away. The designated hitter, Jim Rice. Jim Rice up next for the Red Sox. What about some no-nos? Like, you can't call the umpire blue the way you do in Little League or high school, right? <laughs> yeah. Even in the minor leagues, you'll learn quickly. Uh, you call the umpire blue. You better learn his name. And uh, that's just part of being a professional player and even a major league player. And that one is lifted in the air. And that'll fall for a base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Hey, whatever works, right? Doesn't have to be impressive. Batting you know seven. what they say. He the couldn't have thrown baseman. it out there any better Marty. than that. And certainly the case Fair that right. time. Just flared it back behind the second baseman and dropped it in there. And now the rookie second baseman, Marty Barrett. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Kicks and deals. Lifted in the air, right field. Number 28 has a beat on it. Makes the grab, and there's two gone. Batting eight. The first baseman, number 38. Number 38 up next for the Red Sox. In the dirt, and the runner stays where he is. And now the lefty, slow roller to first. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. And the Red Sox leave one. We'll move to the third with no score. Back here in Boston, digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Will Robertson. Leading off for Toronto, the center fielder, Will Robertson. The right-hander back to work. Ball one, no strikes. That one missed. to kick the two -oh. Well, I would expect in this 3-0 count, you're taking all the way. See if they'll walk you. Next pitch in for a strike, three and one. On the ground to third. Fires across the diamond. One up, one down. Batting nine. The catcher, Ernie Witt. Here's the catcher to hit, Ernie Witt.
And fouled off. And the right hander deals. And that clips the inside corner. Top of the third, no score. Next pitch misses, and the count is one and two. That's hard hit in the line. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. Out number two. Now batting the shortstop, Tony Fernandez. Back to the leadoff spot in the Blue Jays lineup. Tony Fernandez next up for the Blue Jays. That one's in there 0 and 1. Cold night like tonight. Last thing you want to do as a hitter is get jammed or even off the end. Trying to find that sweet spot on the bat. I'll tell you what. You're going to be trying to catch things out front. So off speed pitches may be a good complement to that fastball. Oh, and two now. That one to first. The flip to the pitcher covering. That ends the frame. We move on to the bottom of inning number three. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. Welcome back as we go to the last of the third. And here's the Leading rookie off. catcher, Four number no five. Up. The catcher, number five. The pitch. Popped up. And there's a base hit. And that turns the lineup over. Well, that's one of those knocks where you almost expect to get some now jabs from your teammates Third when you get back to the dugout. Three. When you pop a ball up like that, oh. you don't expect it to get you a knock too often. But right there, somehow he got it to drop in behind first base, and that's where no one could get to it. Straight box now. First offering misses the mark. outside well usually a high level of confidence when you're facing a young pitcher out there on the mound in this situation ahead 2-0 he's put himself in a really good spot 2-0 and that's counted away Way back there, on its way, gone. His first homer of the year, the Red Sox score first. It's 2 nothing. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit. Spit on some other pitches in this. If that was very patient, and it paid off. And stepping in for Boston, Jody Reed. The batter, number three. Shortstop, Jody. Out towards right center Reed. field. Makes the grab on the run. And there's one away. The batter. Number 39. Number 39 now at the plate. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. That hits the dirt. 1 and 0. Oh. Still only one out here in the inning. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. And there's two away. Now batting, right fielder, Dwight Evans. So now space is empty. Dwight Evans up next for the Red Sox.
And the first pitch misses for ball one. Two outs. Pitch misses there. Two and oh. Well, he looks more focused at the plate and working the count after that first at bat strikeout. The 2 0 is in for a strike. And that's outside. He hasn't fallen behind in the count like this all day. He's in danger of walking his first batter right here. And a pitch. Check swing went around. Full count now. Full count pitch will have to wait. Time called to the plate. And he deals. Fly ball down the line. Number 28 glides to his left. Makes the catch in and goes. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run homer. It's now a 2-0 ball game. Back in Boston as we go to the top of the fourth. Now the number Leading two hitter, Toronto, Manny Lee. The second baseman. Manny well, after putting up a nice inning Lee. on offense, got some runs across. This is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Well, the offense has gotten going, and a pitcher wants to go out there, have a real quick inning, get those guys back into the dugout so those bats can stay hot. Next offering is in for a strike. The pitch. Starting to go after it. Now a look down to third. He went around, according to Carl Dixon. Up the middle, and it finds its way through for a hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Not sure if too many people have been paying now, attention to it quite yet, Siggy, but that Your extends his hit streak bell. to 11 now. Well, I know he knows about it, even if a lot of our viewers don't, and this is when it's clear it's no fluke. 11 games in a row, man, that's when even the hitting coach starts to leave you alone. You're going so good that nobody wants to mess it up. the play George Bell and that's in there for strike one righty delivers and that one off the outside edge here's a one one fouled off he was late with two strikes may see some movement over there at first base trying to stay out of a double play here and a swing and a miss and there's one away I gotta think that was the plan all the way he set him up with the high fastball the and bat. then bury that curveball down low to get him swinging now especially with how effective pitchers work up in the zone these days that's a devastating combination and here's the first baseman number 19 And that's a base hit. They get it in quickly. So first and second, now one out. Went up there looking to be aggressive up and got something he could days. handle. Challenged him with the, the fastball right in the heart of the zone. And he was clearly ready Capra. to jump all over it. He 
Here's the third baseman, Vinny Capra. That hits the dirt. Ball one. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. Right-hander kicks deals. Popped in the air. Left field. Makes the grab. And there are two down. Pretty good job on the mound in this one, Siggy. It feels like we've seen a lot of off-balance swings. Yeah, one. just one free Never pass, and uh, obviously Need he's not in. a big strikeout guy, Need but he gets soft contact, and he gets out. Loops. The next to hit takes ball one. Well, he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit, but when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand the zone. He's capable of going out there and doing damage with it. Next offering is in for a strike. He's gone off speed. He needs to elevate here with two strikes out of the zone. And down on strikes he goes. And that will end the inning. On now to the bottom of the fourth. It's the Red Sox two and the Jays nothing. And welcome back. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now here is off. Ellis the Red Burke. Sox. The center fielder. The line of the pitch. Burke. Right through there for a strike. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. The 0 1. Swing and a miss. And he really sells the changeup with that arm action. Going two now. This one lifted in the air, left field. Bell makes the catch. One down. Up next for the Red Sox, the designated hitter, Jim, Jim Rice, will Rice. hit next. One for one with a single so far. You know, Singy, they talk about Red Sox Nation, but. There is something to that because the Boston Red Sox aren't just about Boston or Massachusetts. It's that whole New England area. So you're talking about Maine, New Hampshire, Vermont, Northern Connecticut. There's a whole segment of the country that is locked in on the Boston Red Sox pitch to pitch throughout the summer. Strike two. The wind of the pitch. And now two and two. They travel really well, and I think Red Sox fans are sprinkled all over the country. Next offering is fouled back. You see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Wanted to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing, that high fastball. You have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. The next offering misses. Three and two now. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Now back. Runner on at first with one gone. Marty. Next to hit, Marty Barrett. Barrett. 0 for 1 with a fly. First pitch, and he just misses. Just missed. The 
pitch. And that's a strike. The pitch. Good miss with that changeup away. He needs a ball on the ground for a double play. Minimize the potential threat right here on the hitter side. Nice job of laying off that pitch. Kicks and fires. In for a strike. And the count's full. Good approach right there. You want to get something just a little higher that you can elevate. Stay out of that double play. Got him. And now two gone. And next for the Red now Sox, back. number 38. Number 38. Right side, foul territory. He's got it. And that is out number three. One left for the Red Sox. They're up 2 nothing. Back here at Fenway Park. Top five, John Shambi with Chris Singleton. Leading Toronto, and leading it off, number right 60. Season, number 28. And a pitch. Missing inside. And that's ball one. The pitch. And a foul ball. Ripped on a line to center. And there's one down. Well, on the mound, very efficient, able to produce an outcome. It seems like now within batting, the third or fourth pitch, the center just about every at bat. Will Robertson, and now the center fielder, Will Robertson. He's 0 for one. In there for strike one. Well, he's been incredibly efficient in this one. First pitch strike percentage over 70%. That's well above league average, and that's what's allowed him to pitch well up until this point. One ball, one strike. And there's a fly ball deep right field. That's back. And it's gone! Home run! His second of the year, and they inch closer. It's 2-1. Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch, absolutely blasted out of this ballpark. Next to hit, Ernie Witt. He's 0 for 1. Up next for the Blue Jays, the catcher, Ernie. In Witt. there, and it's 0 and 1. Left-hand hitter waits. Stays alive. Cut on and missed. Struck him out. Now two away. You know, variant speeds can be just as useful for a pitcher as now movement. As you see right the there, it really wasn't a great location. But the Throw fact that down. the velocity change had the hitter off balance, and that's all you got to do sometimes. So the lineup flips over. So up next for Toronto, Tony Fernandez. Out to short. Lays out. He's got it. Not in time. He's safe. 
the effort from both players involved in this play just really stands out to me. He got the diving stop at short, which was outstanding. Hey, and how can you not love the hustle flying down the line? That's just great baseball at an extremely high level. So two down, Manny Lee getting ready to hit. The kick and the pitch. Runner goes. That's it for a strike. Go to second. Out there. And that ends the inning. But not before they're able to draw closer with this blast. And it's now a 2-1 ball game. Back here at Fenway, we head to the bottom of the fifth. Now at the plate, number Leading five. Off for the Red Sox. The catcher, number five. And here it comes. There's a strike. Ripped to short, snagged on a bounce. And that's the first out in the bottom of the fifth. Now batting, the third baseman, Wade Bob. So the batting order turns over. Now here's the Red Sox leadoff hitter, Wade Boggs. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Felt impressed that he went right after him on that first pitch. That's the key. Try to get ahead in the count, then you can play around a little bit more as the at bat expands. Comes up empty on the swing, 0 and 2 now. Not a swing you want to watch again. A wide to kick the pitch. And there's a foul ball. Well, you can't really adjust your game plan for that last pitch. Guy hasn't thrown it very much. You got to focus on the stuff that he's throwing up there most of the time. Popped up to the left into foul ground, and no one can get to it. It's a foul ball. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Two out. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically, he likes to shoot the ball the other way. Now but that time, a little anxious. Jody Reed. Jody Reed up next for the Red Sox. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Kicks and deals. That's inside. Two down, nobody on. That's out to center field. Robertson makes the catch, and that'll do it. Red Sox go down quietly as they're unable to add to their 2-1 lead. Back here at Fenway, stepping in, Manny Lee. Leading off for the DJ, the second baseman, Manny Lee. The line of the pitch. Puts it in the air out towards left center. That's a hit. And the leadoff man aboard. Always feels amazing getting a job done when the, the team needs you to come 11. through. It's just bigger sure. than your own individual stats. Yeah. That ball right there landed in what they call a no man's land, meaning it's not really a spot on the field where you can expect anyone to get to it easily. I mean, it's a tough play going back for the shortstop, but also for the outfielders trying to come in. they got to go a long way as well. Bell in the box now. Take strike one. Runner at first with no outs here. A 
next offering upstairs. Definitely a frustrating day for the offense, but when they look at it, this guy's had his best stuff. Painting the corners, working on the edges and changing speeds. Just a difficult one to tip your cap. In the dirt. And the runner holds. For the second time today. Well, big strikeout right there, and maybe a little now controversial that. with the call. No, no, I think he got a little bit of favor on the mound. No question about it. It's not exactly what you want to see in a big spot like that, and I'm sure there's some chirping going on from the dugout, making it clear that wasn't his best call behind the plate today. And now, number 19. And that's in there for strike one. One run game, one out, one on. Next offering is in for a strike. 0-2 count, both pitches on the inside part of the plate. Hitter is thinking, I don't want to get beat here. This is a good time for something off speed away. Next pitch is outside. Now one and two. Ground ball left side could be two to second. There's one double play, and that'll do it for the end. Poetry in motion there as the second baseman turns the double play. Nice throw to first, and that's the way to end the end. Back here at the ballpark, leading off, number 39. Leading off. For the Red Sox, the left fielder, the number 39. And delivers outside. Toronto's bullpen with some action. Number 38, up and loosening in the pen. Number 55, the left-hander, also throwing. Next one misses, now 2-0. And a pitch. And a foul ball. Makes the count two and one. And now the lefty. That one drifts inside. up on the infield drops into the glove one away that was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate now Had pretty good timing on it right just field. got underneath it a little bit and right. popped it up Evan. white Evans up next for the Red Sox First pitch just misses. And that one clips the corner. Well, it was bumpy in the early going for the lefty, but he settled into a really nice groove. The lefty ready and a 1 1. Hammered on a line to the left, base hit. Around first and hustling for second. The throw in. The tag out. Now battle. The center fielder, Ellis. And stepping in is the speedy Ellis Burke. First offering, and it just misses. Oh, 
Slice to right. And that's down. A base hit. So that's two straight, two out hits. Two consecutive base hits for now these guys here. I don't know how hitter. he's able to shoot that pitch yeah. the other way and still put right. something on it. That pitch was inside, and he let it get really deep. So pretty incredible hands to fight it off and still get good wood on it. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. And now Jim Rice in there for strike oh one. And the pitch. First offering. Runner goes. Ball outside. And safe. It's a stolen base. Singy, he definitely showed off the wheels there. Yeah, and it turned out to be a bang-bang play. StatCast gives us the data, and that stolen base wasn't possible without that sprint speed. Next offering is in for a strike. Two outs. And one in scoring position. Line drive to short and caught. And the Red Sox lead one. They lead it 2 1. New inning getting started. Now the third baseman, Vinny Capra. Leading off for Toronto, the third baseman, Vinny Capra. And a pitch. Just missed. Looks like he was trying to get to the front door with that curveball. It's definitely a finesse pitch, but it backed up a little bit on him and stayed inside. On the ground to the left. Tosses to first. That's the first out, the top of the seventh. Now batting, designated hitter, Nathan Lucas. Nathan Lucas digs in now. That one drilled left field into the dive, and he got it. The batter, number 20. So a great diving catch, and that was only possible because of the route he took to get there, right, Chris? Yeah, stat cast shows us just how efficient that route to the ball was. In fact, that's about as good as it gets, pretty much a direct line to it. And perhaps he was a wide receiver in a different life. I don't know, but, man. Great job to hold on all the way through the dive as well. No fumble caused by the ground. And now it's going to be number 28 in there, and it's 0-1. I really like how he's been attacking hitters early in at bats. He's thrown strikes on the first pitch to over 70% of the guys he's faced in this one. Looking to get the tying run on base. Good eye right there. Swings and misses. And the count one and two. The tying run at the plate. Now fly ball to right center. Evans makes the catch. And that'll do it. Blue Jays go down in order. And our score remains 2-1. We're back in a new picture here to start the bottom of the seventh. Number 38. It's his job to keep his team in the game. Back now at Venway. Now here is... Marty Barrett leading off for the Red Sox. The second baseman. The wind of the Marty pitch. Barrett. And a strike in there. 
No need to offer at that pitch until you get to two strikes. It's just a low percentage of success when you want to try to go after that down and away pitch. On the ground, right side. Lee handles. Over to first. And the leadoff hitter set down to open the seventh. Now batting, number 38. Now, here is number 38. One's in there, 0 and 1. On the ground, right side. He handles it himself. And a couple of quick outs. Now batting. Number five. Two outs, base is empty. Here's the catcher, number five. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Called strike right there. The 1 1. They say it went. And a ball in two strikes. Hit weakly on the ground. Lee gloves it. Saved at first, and an infield single keeps the inning going. Protecting with strikes now on it. Third base. And putting the ball in play Three. speaks to cutting down oh. the strikeouts, shortening up with two strikes. Still stepping in for Boston, Wade Boggs. His two-run homer back in the third was an important swing of the bat in this one. Yeah, there's no doubt he helped set the tone fairly early and certainly part of the reason why they've got the lead right now. First offering misses the mark. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. to the plate and a swing and a line drive at a right field and there's a hit so that's two straight two out hits that's back-to-back -back singles for him solid the swing from start three. to end on time with up. everything really Go good here. balance nice extension three. and he met it out front for the line drive knock and now Jody Reed That one lifted in the air center field, and that will fall. So that's three straight hits with two outs, and the bases are loaded. The tag, and that's out number three, inning over. Boston strands a pair, but they still lead it two to one. Just a solo shot, but an important swing in this game. Yeah, and it was a beautiful swing as well. Everything just came together timing-wise, and he blasted it out of here. The pitch. You know this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. A one -up. Bottom of the zone and a called strike. Wait, 
And he did. Swings through that. It's so impressive how the velo is still there, even this deep into the outing. And the right hander deals. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Number 39 under this one. And there's one down. Now batting, catcher, Ernie Wick. And here is Ernie Wick. Out towards left center. Great effort as he's able to haul it in. And there's two down. The batter, number one, tripped up. Next for Toronto, Tony Fernandez. And that's in there for strike one. Some guys are just more confident. They can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher. They don't care if they fall behind 0-1. 0-1 down. Front for strike two. He's been able to go inside as well as outside, effectively working both sides of the plate in this at bat. Down to the dirt, swing and a miss. Gets to it on the first, and it's in time for the third out, so that'll end the inning. I think the key is arm action on the changeup. When you can sell it like a fastball, you drop the velocity, you get the swing and miss, and you walk off the field. Of the eight. Now the left fielder, number 39. Leading off for the Red Sox. The left fielder, number 39. The pitch. And that one upstairs. Swing and a miss, strike one. And there's a rocket into the outfield. Everything now was on time right. and he blew it in that swing. Right. Got a pitch, you could get the Everybody. barrel on and land it in the center for the knock. Those always feel good. Here's the Boston cleanup hitter, Dwight Evans. And there's something you don't see very much in today's game, the pitch out. Number 39. On at first, nobody out. Next offering is downstairs. Late with the swing there. Well, he came right at it right there. Challenged him with the 2-0 fastball. Not sure exactly what he was looking for, but got to imagine that's a confidence booster on the mound. You're in that hitter's head a little bit. And that one fouled off. And the righty deals. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. And now one away. Well, that was a tough slider right there. He couldn't get a piece of it just to try to now keep the bat alive. Center fielder. Hitters will tell Ellen. you that slider, when a guy's oh. able to really tunnel the pitch where it looks like a fastball and then late has really good bite, so tough to lay off of because you've made the decision. You don't want to get beat by a fastball, and then you swing and you miss. You go back to the dugout shaking your head. And yeah, first offering is fouled off. Right-handed reliever. <laughs> Swing.
Swing and a miss. One and two. Sometimes being lucky is a swing and miss. If he makes contact with that pitch, probably hits into a double play. And a one-two. And he chases that one. That's the second out. Well, interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the stretch after giving up the leadoff single. Yeah, Back-to-back yeah. -back strikeout. But so hitter. They haven't been able to move that yeah. runner up, get him into scoring right. position, and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. Jim Rice up next for the Red Sox. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. Here comes the pitch. Runner breaks for a second. Ball misses. Throw to second. Out there. And the inning is over. Well, trying to get in the scoring position, but a great catch and throw to end the inning. That's the way to pick up the pitcher. So they turn things over to the right. Lee Smith. And he'll do his best to hang on to this lead. Number 48. Lee. Set for the start of the inning. And now it's the switch inning second base. He goes Manny Lee. The second base. Here. Manny Lee. Here comes a pitch. That one back up the middle and it gets through. Another big game. He's looking pretty much unstoppable. Oh, that's the that pretty much split the zone oh, down the middle, and those Yo. are the ones where you got to make a yeah. pick. Now a huge at bat in this game coming up. George Bell, the next to hit. Your base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get in the scoring position. Next offering is in for a strike. Just amazing to me how many closers and back end relievers just throw absolute gas these days. I never would have had a chance. Here's the 0 2. And a swing and a miss. And that's the first out. Well, I definitely say that's a statement strikeout right there. You come out of the bullpen, go right after the Number hitters. And three pitches later, you got one out. I'll tell you what, if you're in the dugout, you're looking at each other and saying, he's going to be tough to get to today. Now the Toronto four-hole hitter, number 19. Rolled over to third. Can't glove it cleanly. Fogs. Toss the second. Out there, but that's all they'll get. Well, that was clearly a double play ball, but the bobble yeah, unfortunately that. prevented him from being able to get two. Maybe. But a good job to stay with it and make sure you got at least one. Here's the third baseman, Vinny Kaplan. Typically, the outfield defense will play a little bit deeper just to keep the ball in front, make sure that runner on first doesn't come all the way around to score and tie this ball game up. On the ground, right side. Steps on the bag himself. Ball game. Great pitcher's goal in this one. You get to a certain point where... Each pitcher is trying to outdo the other, go a little bit deeper into the ball game. And for these guys, it really came down to a few key at-bats. This was a fun one to walk. And your final score here today, 2-1. They hang on to win it by a run. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Shami saying so long.
The final line score for our ball game tonight. For the victorious Boston Red Sox, two runs, ten hits, no errors. They left seven men on base. For the Blue Jays, one run, eight hits, no errors. They left six men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 43 minutes. Tonight's paid attendance at Fenway Park, 37,755. We'd like to thank the Red Sox Nation for their continuing support and remind you to please drive home safely. Good night.